this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you just a quick video about painting uh, I'm not gonna think, like time and a little bit of rosemary together. And I mean you can always add other spices into it, but I'm just doing the two just to create a video to show you. I had somebody make a request. Anyways, Let's go ahead and get started. I am using 3A Magic round brushes. I'm using a 0, a 4, and a 2. I am also using an A Magic number 6 filbert and a dotting stylus. Alright, I'm going to use the 0 to create the, the stem that I'm painting it on. And basically all I'm doing is just sticking the round brush into the paint and I'll just keep adding it as I go and making sure that I have a good uh, thick coverage because that is what's important when you paint on glass. Alright, so I'm just doing my basic kind of outline here what I'm, how I'm going to start. And then I'll go over it again just to make it a, a little bit more I guess fuller that type of thing. Alright, so I'm going to go through here. You can also do this with a flat brush. A lot of times I get a, a better coverage when I'm doing a flat brush when I've got other other colors loaded with it at the same time. Even though I mean I actually do have other colors loaded with this one. Even though it's just a round brush. You might have to work on this for a few minutes just to get the thickness that you want. And I wanted this to have a smaller tip, but that's okay. I'm going to be painting over it anyways. Adding white to it can actually add more opaqueness because it's got more pigment to it. Like I said, it may take a few minutes just to work this, get it where I want it. And you can make your, your stems a little bit thinner if you want. They don't have to be as thick as what I'm working with right now. I've probably made them a little bit thicker once I started adding more colors to it, trying to get the opaqueness. But you get the gist, right? That's the most important part. Now I'm painting this on a vase right now instead of a bottle because I don't actually have a clear bottle. I have green bottles and I was afraid that with all the green that I'm going to be using it they wouldn't show up very well on the, the green bottle itself. So that's why I chose this vase because I don't have a clear bottle to do it on. Alright, I think right now I've got some pretty good coverage. Now what I'm going to do is take the number two flat br or round brush. Oh, and I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you the colors. Um, before I proceed, I'm doing Folk Art Paint School Bus Yellow, Burnt Sienna. This is a mixture of enamels and multi-surface thicket. Red Violet. Burnt Umber. Bricker White and Forest Moss. Okay, so on this one, what I'm going to do once again is just dip my brush and I'll show you because I don't, the way my camera set up, I don't have a lot of area that's covered, just a small. But yeah, I'm going into the, the greens, just dipping my brush in and I'll just rotate back and forth. But basically, what I'm doing is just Touching and pulling, touching and pulling, and just making a making the green at the top. Did I pick up the wrong brush? No, I don't think so. Okay, just wonder why I've got, got so much brown in here. But anyhow, just kind of go on like that, and then you'll come through, do some other layers. And you can rotate colors so that they show up, or you can do, like, say, all the light at the top, or 
and then all the dark towards the bottom, however you want to do it, up to you. You know, my sample thing, I forgot to do my centers on my flowers. Sorry if you hear my dogs barking, they're upstairs. But I feel like I always have to have a video with the dog barking in it. Try to close them out a little bit. I'm about to help or not. Alright, so then let's move over to the next one. And you can add, you know, again, add more white into it as you go. But the main thing is just to do some little, just little pulls. Like I said, it doesn't really matter with the way the tip is because I'm painting over it anyways. And I'll just come down here, just make it a little bit bigger. And I am pulling some brown into it, that's fine. If you don't want to do that, you can hit your piece with um, a heat gun, hair dryer, that kind of thing to try to get it to dry a little faster. But I'm fine with it, so to me it just it just gives it more... I don't know, more color, more style by doing it this way. Alright, so you just come down, maybe even just bring it down a little bit. Add some more green into it if you want. I kind of like these to be out a little bit so it's not just like it's, uh, you know, that's kind of got a little bit more movement to it. How else to describe it? I guess then you can add some light to it. Alright, let's move to the next one. I guess so. This is just very simple. My videos are intended to be simple. I want everybody to feel that they could possibly give my designs a try. Practice makes perfect. Wax paper is awesome to practice on. So don't be intimidated. Feel free to give it a try. You know, let me know if you're having any problems, any questions, concerns. List them underneath the videos. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Now while you're here, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I post something new. I would appreciate that as well. I am trying to grow my channel. Alright, I do want to kind of round this out a little bit. And you can just see, just basic strokes. If you can hold a paintbrush, you can certainly do what I'm doing. And that is my intent. Like I said, and if you want to come through here and just add some more strokes in, you can. Just make them show up a little bit better. That's fine. Alright, so we have one more. And again, we're just doing different size strokes. Pulling them in. Different directions. Just kind of wispy strokes. If that makes sense. Just light. And again, keep in mind, the more paint you put on, the better coverage you're going to have and the more durability that you're going to have. You know, it's not as a big of a concern when you're just painting on something that's a home decor piece that isn't going to be handled. But if you're doing like wine glasses or drinking glasses of some sort, you, know, you do need to be concerned with that because you want them to last for a while. I mean, yes, the paint can scratch. Yes, 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 but if you handle it nicely and treat it like fine china, you're going to have it around for a while. Alright, so we have our tops there. So what I'm going to do is come through with my filbert. And on this one, I'm basically going to be doing about the same thing. I'm going to be putting my brush into paint and then just pulling out, not double loading, I'm just... I mean, I'm kind of double loading, but not double loading in the sense like you would do on a one stroke. Alright, so then I'm going to come here, I'm going to push down, and I'm going to pull up. Push down and pull up. 
you want to add a little white to it, you can. Up to you. And I just go back and forth and add more paint as I go. And you can always go back over these two if you feel like you need to, just for coverage purposes. And you can come this way too if you want, if you need to fill it in. Or you can turn your piece. How about that? How about them apples? Just very simple. Very, very simple. All right, so we're going to start back up here, do the same. And you can make these thinner. I mean, they don't have to be thick. You can make them um, longer, too, if you want. I kind of like them the way they are, so I'm just going to keep them like this. And they can touch your other your other stem. That's fine. So I always say when you're putting together a floral arrangement, it doesn't mean that they're going to stay separated like so. They're not. You can add another one in here if you want. The little crossroads. Now, like I said, as I'm getting these on here and I see that there's some opening in the paint, I can always go back over it, do another stroke, or let it dry and come back over it uh, just to get the better coverage. All right, here we go. And this one's going to go into the head of that one. And we'll go this way. This way. I'm going to space them out some as you're going. Now I just added a little bit of white to my brush. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to start on this one too. And like I said, we're going to run into each other because our, our um, stems are close. Our branches, whatever you want to call them. But again, that's okay. As long as you get the gist, if you want to spread them out more, you can. You have to do it based to judgment, based on the item you're painting on. I mean, that's definitely an issue at times. I got some purple in here. And I can go all the way down here, turn it, turn it. I'll just get it down to the base here. Like I said, and then I can come back over if I want to add to it. Just don't be afraid to go over it, especially right now while it's wet. You know, you have more control over it. You know, if you need to add more color, like I said, maybe more of the darker green, more of the white, you can do that now. Up to you. All right. So then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go back to your green round brush and you're going to do the same thing what we did before and that's, I get some more paint on my brush here, that is putting these little, kind of like what you did at the top, but you're putting these little poles 
And what I mean by that is you're just going to come up here and go like this. And in this I will add some green and white. The darker green, the lighter green. And pull it together. Just all the way down here. That's why I wasn't too concerned about whether or not it hit the stem because I knew I was going to come back in and add these to it, which kind of ties it all together, right? And you can just do them, you know, however you want. If you want them just to be all the lighter green, you can do that. If you want them to be a combination of the light, the dark, and the white, you can do that also. I like to do a mixture, personally. I'm tying the white in here because it does help make it more opaque. Again, you just go down. You can make these poles thinner if you want. Mine are kind of thick, but that's I'm doing that intentionally. So if you want yours to be thinner, you can. But very easy. What do you think? You think this is an easy design that you'd be able to paint? I always make sure people know that because I don't want them to come to my channel and say, oh my gosh, this is so simple, whatever. That's fine, it is, but it, that's intentional. And you just do this all the way down for each one. Okay, so got all those filled in to the best of my, best of my ability. So what I'm going to do next is take my, let's see, number four round brush <clears throat> Once again, <clears throat> excuse me, putting it into the paint and then tipping it into the other color that I'm going to be using. And the purpose of this then is to go ahead and add like the little flowers in that I would need at the top here. Trying not to get too much of the green in there. Make sure I have some white in here as well. Sorry, the dogs are barking again. And you just want to put these in here. I mean, you can have partials. You can have a couple partials next to each other. Yeah, just get them in there as best you can and get the colors going here. And just make it look nice. That's all. Very easy flowers, just like what we did on the, the poles that came up, but not anything difficult to do by any means. So like I said, you can have partials that are showing. You can have full ones. You can use a different color, purple too, if you don't want this, because this one is a little bit harsher than I think what typically would be found in time. So, then you can do it where you just have, you know, some green or color that pulls into a few of the flowers or the stems, like this, where they're not full on, full on flowers. That makes sense. I might just put like a little bit of one here. Again, it's just filling the brush and just doing different movements with it to make a flower shape. Very simple, as you can tell. Again, that's the intention. don't have to put that many flowers on them either. You can just leave it kind of sparse or you can make a lot. Alright, so then the next thing that you want to do, and I forgot to do this on my sample, is you want to come in here and put the center dots. And that just kind of completes them. Um, whether they're 
partial or full flowers. Whoops. Like that. And just keep going with it. You can't tell. These colors are so close, it's like hard to tell for sure. That's a flower, and what is it? That's it for those. All right, so then what I'm going to do is come here and here because I, I, the person that wanted this was talking about, you know, maybe a couple different uh, spices. So I'm going to do rosemary. So I'm going to intertwine it here or try to at least as much as I can with this design and bring it up through here a little bit. So if you're adding adding other spices to it or if you want to just do just the one spice at a time that's good. You can do it either way but I'm once again I'm coming through here and trying to make the, the stem a little bit more opaque. And then I'm going to do one that comes out this direction a little bit. And you can always add more than just one or two spices to your design. Doesn't matter. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take my brush that I did all my grains with, and that's a number two. I am just going to be dipping it back and forth into the greens as I go, I'm pulling in some round. I knew that would happen because it's wet, but I'm just going to be going down my stem. I'm so sorry the dogs are barking. Uh, I'm pulling in more brown than I want. These are supposed to be green. I mean the white is fine, but they're supposed to be green. Not brown. So what I would say with this is that you probably should give this some dry time or hit it with a heat gun or hair dryer, whatever you have available. I'm just doing different lengths, different I'm so sorry different lengths, different sizes of greenery, pulling it towards, pulling it towards the branch. And the fun thing is, is, you know, create your own, you know, it can be your rendition, your interpretation of what something looks like. Doesn't every they don't all have to be the same. You know how I look at something, how you see it can be to, two totally different things. So I'm making some of these long, some of these short, rotating the colors. I hope this makes sense, what I'm doing, to you at least, I mean it does to me, but to you. I'm 
I'm just making them a little bit smaller as they get towards the bottom. Like that. I mean, I actually, I kind of like it with the brown in it a little bit. I think it gave it a little bit more interest, but, you know, if you don't want the brown in there, then you know what you need to do, right? Alright, I'm going to wipe some of the paint off and start again. Again, I can go over, kind of cross over to some of the stuff I've already painted. That's fine. Because they are going to touch, and that's fine. I think what we have is our recycle pickup is coming and my dogs don't like that. Yeah, designs don't have to be complicated in order to be pretty. I truly don't. Okay, so with this kind of going underneath it, I'm just going to leave it like that and then continue on when I come back here. Whenever you're painting, if you feel like your paintbrush is too full, just wipe it off on a paper towel and continue going. We're almost finished, folks. Thanks for sticking with me here. I know this can be kind of long. I'm going to leave it at that. You, know, you can work with it, play with it. But I hope you like this. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. And before you leave, make sure you share this on your social network with all your family and friends. Very easy. Just hit that share button that you'll find underneath the video. And you're good to go. Alright, until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and have a good one!